Farouk Hussein serves food at Revel Resorts. He wonders how he would support his family if Revel closes September 10th. It's, it's very hard, you know, what to do. Maybe state move or looking for other job. You know, there is no job South Jersey. This is the casino city. Farouk was among the casino workers outside the Atlantic City Country Club telling the governor his September 8th summit is too late to save jobs here. The governor came here to fundraise for a congressman. Everybody looking to him to help us, taking care of us, keeping our job. As Revel September 10th closure looms, some businesses within Revel want answers. Their attorney has asked the bankruptcy court for an immediate hearing, accusing Revel of sending mixed messages and choosing to shroud their sale process in secrecy. Revel's lawyers told the bankruptcy court they're working with several potential bidders and require more time. Some people have stepped forward and said they, they'd be willing to buy it, but, you know, at 10 cents on the dollar. And so obviously the banks aren't ready to accept that low of an offer. Severio Sherry owns White Sand Gaming, a casino and resort consulting firm. He says Revel devoted 95 percent of its floor space to non-gaming activities in a gaming mecca. But even in that small gaming space, New Yorkers Robin and Shauna found almost no one gambling and decided they wouldn't either. They're like, let me take my money elsewhere where it's like good, yeah. good vibes. Yeah where the money's flowing. Yeah. So there's a lot of missed opportunities. So no, people don't think automatically to come to Atlantic City when they would think about vacation. They do think about it to come for gaming, though. Sherry says Atlantic City may be a declining market, but there's still money to be made here. According to the latest numbers released by the state, the Borgata made just more than $60 million last month. Sherry says he believes Revel can succeed, too, saying it needs a new buyer, smarter marketing, and a better grasp of the changing industry. He blames increased out-of-state competition and mistiming the market for Revel's doomsday scenario. Well, I think it's an example of a good idea and bad timing. And, and back in a strong market, good ideas were still okay. But in a tough market like we're in now, you really need a great idea. And this wasn't necessarily a great idea. It really needed to be a casino first, not a resort. Amid all the speculation about Revel and a potential buyer comes another dire prediction for Atlantic City. This one by Deutsche Bank, predicting that Atlantic City, now with 11 casinos, will only have six by the year 2017 and that revenues here will fall by more than a third. It's contracting because of a broad competitive marketplace in this region, but it's still the centerpiece of, a, of the mid-Atlantic region. There's nothing like this around. The Atlantic City Alliance is trying to rebrand this town. Its full-page ads appeared in Thursday's Star-Ledger, the Wall Street Journal, and the Philadelphia Inquirer to attract non-gaming tourists. It was the annual air show that brought Alice Arch and Don Candelori to Atlantic City. It was just amazing. It's phenomenal. Yeah. But for now, Revel and two other casinos with looming closure dates own the headlines in Atlantic City. Michael Hill, NJTV News.